Hi everyone, my name is Katrina Irwin and I'm originally from Miami, Florida. Growing up in Miami, Florida, I had the privilege of attending marine biology camp in Key Biscayne at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Biscayne Nature Center. At the Biscayne Nature Center, we went on many eco field trips, but my absolute favorite eco field trip was going to Key Largo to go snorkeling. My first time seeing a coral reef was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I remember I was only seven years old and I was astonished by the vast ecosystem and colorful corals. But since I was seven, I haven't gone back to a reef since. But this summer, at the age of 22, I visited a reef in the Florida Keys again. But the reef looked immensely different from the last time I saw it at the age of seven. The reef was bleached and there wasn't a lot of marine creatures around the reef. This is largely in part due to warmer waters ca causing coral bleaching. You see, living in Miami, I always knew that climate change was a threat and I knew it was real, but I thought it was something I wouldn't have to deal with in my own lifetime. But at the age of 22, I was already beginning to see a difference in the, in the ecosystem around us than it was when I was seven years old. Warmer waters are causing our corals to bleach in my, and in my own lifetime, we may have no coral reefs left. 2020 is a crazy year. We're currently in the middle of a pandemic and the fossil fuel industry is being bailed out and we're witnessing EPA rollbacks. This is not what we should be doing right now. We are currently, while in the midst of the pandemic, we cannot forget that we are in the midst of a climate crisis. And if we do not do anything about these rollbacks and stop, and stop bailing out the fossil fuel industry, we are going to be worse off than we were before. We have to do something. We have to put people before polluters for the future of our planet. And that's why I signed the Florida Climate Pledge.